Hi friends, hope you're doing swell. Hello friends, I hope you're doing swell and welcome back to my channel and welcome to another episode of Let's Make Over the Townies. In part one, we do a cast makeover and in part two, we do a home or an apartment renovation and then I promise in part three, we do rotational builds. Since I'm posting almost every other day here in October, we're gonna fit a rotational place somewhere in the mix. But in the last episode, if you didn't see part one, we we actually gave the free spirits over in Windenburg a much needed makeover so in part two today we're gonna to be doing a little home renovation now I got all of their likes and dislikes kind of written down on the side so we can go through and kind of brainstorm what we want for this house Anywho, let's stop rambling and let's get over into the build all right so this is what it's looking like on the outdoors now I'm not mad about it the only thing is that their coins are running low so we're just I'm gonna sell this in their inventory because we need some money but I do really like the landscaping and everything like that I know one thing that I was talking about within like their little preview on part one was to add some columns to this Tudor style house and I think I'm still going to do that um, but I kind of want to get the lay of the land first so we have a little entryway which is honestly really cute I was just looking at the world for Windenburg and I was like I really need to play it it didn't have to be a video but I need to play it like in my personal time but I'm at the moment now is like I'm getting so excited to actually like build and play in the sims if I don't record it I'm like what what was the use because I love recording but um this is the top floor now we got a walk-in woohoo wardrobe and I don't know whose room is which so I think we kind of have a fair pick on it I know that Mikey I think that's how you pronounce her name likes black and blue and then Yulri likes a uh, gray and blue so we'll make sure we have that kind of um, style and color within their house and they also both like mission decor so I'll make sure to have that in their house as well um, maybe this is Mikey's room because she does really enjoy um, guitar mischief and writing and we have some music right there and then for Yulrick she likes um, cross stitch knitting and painting but this kind of looks like a writer room so maybe we'll flip it this one can be Mikey's this can be Ulrich and then we'll make the bathroom a little combo situation and then going down to the first floor we desperately need to update their like kitchen area it just looks a hot mess and then their little living room setup I think we can do something a little bit better but I like how tiny and intimate this house is so I don't think I'm gonna change the size of it because I like tiny homes and this kind of looks like a tiny home in my opinion so we'll kind of keep the bones the same of course like change the lighting because we have smaller saucer lights now and just also just give it a nice little update so before we get started on anything I do need to put on my move object so I'm doing central central shift C that opens up the panel and I just do BB dot move objects in case you're ever wondering about that I like to alt play so it works for me and I'm thinking since as well we are in Windenburg and I think that's get together let's look for some get together columns because I think we could still put like one right there we might I have to move this over which is fine um and we can pull that out some more but i do think i want some columns to make it look a little bit more structured and we do have a white so let's see okay so we have options that doesn't really fit the vibe that doesn't really either that kind of looks like that post so we could do something like that but i do need one to kind of i wish this was just like a slightly different color let me see if there's any other color swatches on it the gray works oh we're gonna use this one i don't know how expensive that was i think it was quite expensive <laughs> but we're gonna add four little pillars onto each side because i think that makes it look a little bit more sound because realistically you would have those and it's only seven bones so that's not like too much money um i think once we like revamp the inside we'll have some more money but i do want to add these on all four columns cute and i love the way the house is styled on the outside so i don't think there's anything in particular that i really want to change maybe move this over some i can't believe that was 85 dollars um and move this over a hair too but i like that i think i want to maybe move our little mailbox to right up front and i want to add some more landscaping around so i think i'm gonna move this oh <laughs> 
I was like, I think I'm gonna move this back some, but maybe I'm too far away that I can't see it. I'll get my money back for that, so no worries. Um, but I do wanna draw, see if I can go like closer. No, I think that was as close as I can go. That's fine. I didn't really lose any money, but I do wanna situate this like right there and let's pull this over some more so it's like tucked in there i think that's cute but i do want to add some shrubbery as well um just around the house i know i usually do a montage but i'm in the filming mood today so i think we can do it together i do want to remove these because i think we can get a more consistent blue color because our sims do both share the love of blue so i want to see if i can find some like blue planter boxes because they do like that and even this dark blue kind of works because it's a neutral in between like the gray and black that our sims share Ooh, but i do like these Hmm. Oh, those are also really pretty from Love Struck. What if we use some of these from Love Struck? And this seems uneven. I figured that was uneven. I was like, are my mind, is my mind playing tricks on me? It wasn't. It was just the game being weird. I think I want to bring these down one too. And low key, we can probably put some more planter boxes. Oh, I kind of like this one a little bit more. What if we use this one instead? Just because I like how it kind of hangs down then we copy that as well now they do like mission decor and in my head i'm thinking mission decor is like that too and i do not have that pack so uh we have to work with what we have so let me go to styles and see what in mission okay we have this stuff which i mean it could fit it's not bad it's giving me shrek and fiona for some reason but i think we can make that work in that black swatch yeah i don't mind that i'm gonna get rid of these planter boxes on the side not really feeling those in these little post things okay yeah that works for me let me search by everything because both of our sims like i said share the love of having um mission decor so we're gonna make sure we reflect that within like the actual build like in the common shared areas but for the outdoors i think i want to go with something like this to keep up that black thing we can put one on this side and one on this side and of course we need to probably add some tooth back as well but i really do like the style of this house i think it looks so pretty so there's not much on the exterior it's the interior that's a hot mess um so we have to work on that and we do have some doors so i think i want to put one of these maybe in this just black swatch towards the back oops and then I think I also want to replace this one. Oh, this is mission style. Ooh, that's so pretty. I just think that might be a little bit too big. So maybe what if we use this little base game one? That works. Okay, now as I'm looking at it as well, I'm like, what will our windows look like? Oh, if they're black, I think we need to do black windows. That, I don't mind that one being gray, but I think I like the rest of them being black. So I'm gonna go around and change the window style and also move them down some so they're a little bit more centrally located. Okay, so I, I like the way that this looks. I'm gonna get rid of this. Let me see if there's any, yeah, there's some little post lights that might look a little bit better. Let's just add one right there. Cute. All right, now I'm just gonna to add some landscaping because I think we still do need quite a bit. Kind of want to move this like right here. We can get rid of this part of the fence and get some money back. Maybe put it like on the corner or something because it doesn't really matter if it's like clipping a little bit. But I do want to add some more like shrubberies and I never use this one but I'm thinking just having that little bit of like height in the back would be really nice or we can do something like that but that's not tall enough that I was like imagining. So maybe we add a few of these. Let me see. <gasps> It's not clipping so it fits perfectly i just think adding these all the way across is going to be a little minor detail that you won't really be able to see but i think it'll be well appreciated um it is taking up a little bit of our money but that is okay i think we'll be fine for money i do want to add these all the way across yeah it's getting expensive but i like that i like how plush that looks so i'm gonna keep it and if i need to give them some more money i will give them some more money let's go on like an aerial view that works for me yeah i really do enjoy how manicured it is and before we do anything else i think i want to make the roof texture black just because we got a lot of gray going on i think having some type of black will be a nice contrast yeah look that made a world of difference and we can even keep the trim the same color because i don't mind that so let's go ahead go back and we need to add some terrain paint just to make it look a little bit more like realistic and this is a pro tip as well so i'm hoping my pro tip actually works but if you delete the underside of the stairs you get some coins back and we don't need the underside 
So let's go ahead and get rid of that. Yeah. And then we can always come back outside to determine like what else when we have some more money. But I think I'm okay with the way that it looks outdoors. So let's go ahead and go on the first floor to see what we're working with. First off, I need to get rid of these and these sconces. I know I used sconces in my build yesterday, the day before yesterday. Uh, it was a one-time thing. I, I liked them, but I was using just base games, so that might be it because there are some really pretty ones that came with growing together. So maybe that was it. I'm just add one right there, and one right there, and one right there. Let's delete these big old saucer lights. I'm gonna delete that too. Maybe we should just honestly go through and delete some stuff. I do want to keep that. Um, we could keep the boom box. Let's get rid of these. We can keep the easel. I'm gonna get rid of that random little shell. Let's go ahead and delete some of that too. Okay, now I know this is very ambitious of me, but hear me out. I feel like we can do like a tiny little bathroom downstairs. Um, I think it'll be nice. And we can even like cut into some of this or I'm kind of thinking as I'm going, we do something like this. What kind of doors they have? They have these brown ones, which we can probably just change to black because they do both like the color gray and blue. So I think I'm gonna do like black on the doors. And these are not the same. Oh yeah, these are cheaper. Let's do those. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Um, and then we can put like a tiny little bathroom downstairs. I think you need like a little bathroom downstairs for like guests. So that looks good to me. Now I'm gonna go by Mission Decor as well. Let's do Styles. Mission, where are you, where are you? There we go. I wanted to see about like some archways. Oh, we do have some. <sighs> from growing together okay so i'm kind of obsessed with this and they do like gray as well so what if we use ah, just they like gray blue black what if we do blue it is quite a bit of money but look how cute that is we move it down one that kind of opens that space up some and honestly we can open we can open that up some too maybe get rid of this we have some type of open pathway we're gonna have to try to think about that but um i do want to change the flooring are there any there are some woods that came 16 i like that but i kind of like this hair and bow a little bit more that was quite a bit more money <laughs> uh ooh, that could work i'm kind of liking oh i think i like that one let's go ahead and add these yeah and there are some tiles that came i like these squiggly ones I don't know, for some reason I really like those. So let's go ahead and use those for our little bathroom. Then maybe we can try to make it work for the, um, I'm trying to keep that mission decor thing going on, but maybe we'll have to start filtering by like their actual colors. So blue, black, and gray are what the ladies like. And I'm thinking something a little bit more brighter will be nice because it can kind of open up the space some. And I love this from Growing Together. I just think it's nice and neat. So I'm tempted to use this and we can use this all upstairs too we get a little bit of money back from that which is not bad and then for the kitchen what kind of tiles are we working with Ooh, we got quite a bit of options i really like this but we'll have to change the flooring which i am okay with because we could do this from jungle adventure this gray and then ooh, i was gonna say to match it but okay to match it maybe we can do like the stucco on the rest of it i think with decor it's gonna look good like you gotta stay with me for the vision yeah i like that and i think i'm gonna add these to the bathrooms and so with that i'm gonna get some maybe white flooring i think white would be nice in this area we have this from love struck oh i like that one from growing together let's do that yeah i think it makes the house look a lot more brighter so i'm not mad about it okay i think i like the vibes of this not mad about it okay let's work on the kitchen i hate to get rid of all this but we gotta we gotta get rid of it i think we can make like a better layout for like a kitchen and dining room situation this might be our best bet but what if we flip it have something like over there have kind of like a big kitchen let's get rid of those hmm <laughs> I'm trying to think if we should like do that type of appliance or should we just do like a, a silver one situation. I kind of like this one. Let's add that. I kind of want to move this over one. So I am. <laughs> and we're going to add a little sink right there. And then maybe in this spot right here, 
we can just add like a silver stove. Ooh, money's running low, low. <laughs> That's okay. I'm gonna give them some more money because it was my idea, not theirs. Okay, these are small wall height. I was like, hold on, have I been bamboozled? I'm bamboozling myself. These upper cabinets cost so much money, but they're so worth it at the end of the day. Um, and then I'm gonna do a, a little vent hood. Yeah, I'm gonna have to give them some more money, I think. That's okay, that's okay. Um, let's give them like 15. So I have been trying to get their money a little bit higher and the game is like, no ma'am, you cannot do that. I've tried to type it quite a few times and it's not allowing me to. So we're gonna have to be careful because I think the game is like, you need to stay true to the renovations of let's make over the townies. Cause I was trying to cheat. I was trying to make it do what I wanted to do. But in the true nature of this challenge, we have to be like kind of cautious. Dang, that took up so much money. Oh my gosh. We're gonna have to go in and make the house smaller, I think, which is fine. But like, I just want to give them a nice little home renovation, but I made the rules for myself to just use the money that they have. When the game was like, uh-uh, I heard you girl. You gotta keep it. So let's go by mission again. Ew, those chairs are disgusting. I am not using those. I think I'm gonna just use some black chairs. And I find out that sometimes, like, um, when my game, even though I like updated it, if it needs to update again, it won't allow for me to add any like cheats or anything. So I can't like all plays, like I can't even do the central thing to open it up. I don't think that's the case right now, but to move the house in some to get some more money even though I don't think it gave us much of anything okay so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go ahead and go in and make the house much smaller I'll do it in a time lapse so you'll be able to see me so you know I'm not cheating for money and then we'll come back to see how much we have to realistically furnish this house for the fruit spirits Okay, so I did quite a bit on the exterior. I feel like it still has the same like bones of the house. It's just slightly different. So I did make it much smaller so we can have enough money to actually furnish it like we want to. I did add a bunch of trees since this area is filled with trees. I figured they would have quite a bit on their lot as well. So I added those. And then instead of having that expensive hedge, I just decided to use my old faithful and use this low lying kind of um, bush hedge thing. And I haven't done terrain paint just yet because I'm hoping to have a little extra coins left over. So that's what I'm like hoping for. But we shall see of course um, once we like furnish the inside. And then I can do some more like last minute things on the exterior. So the interior, I did make the kitchen a little bit smaller. We still have that tiny bathroom downstairs, a little smaller living room, which is fine. It's just two ladies. And then their bedroom is quite smaller. And their bathroom was huge, so I made that smaller as well because they just didn't need all that. Um, and as I'm looking as well, I think the tree was in my way, but this is misplaced. But yeah, there we go. I'm happy with the way it looks. And we also have, 11 almost 12,000 simoleons so i think we're doing pretty well now getting back on schedule i don't think i want to use that table i'm thinking we could even do like a bar situation but i feel like these ladies also like to host so maybe i don't really care for that one what if we do like one of these i mean it's cute and small that's 225 how much is this one 400 okay never mind we'll do that one they do like they both like gray and blue. And I love mixing blue and black together. So let's find some like funky blue chairs because I think they'll kind of make the other grayness of the room kind of pop. Um, I'm not going to stick to these colors as well. I just want to have like the base of it because Sims will be like, I don't like that decor and be in a really stinky mood. So I want the main things to kind of resemble some of the stuff that they do like. Not feeling those. Yeah, I'm not really feeling those either. I mean, these could work. It's brown at the bottom, but I think that's fine. And then maybe just to like spruce it up some more because it is very blue in here. 
Let's get some green and yellow into the mix and see what we can find. I do want like a biggish type of flower or a plant, just something to kind of wake up this area some more. And I never use this. Ah, look at that lightning glitch. It gets so dark when you place it. I do like that. So let's use that one. Oh, that's not bad. I definitely don't use that ever and it's only 50 simoleons could i place it over here perhaps i kind of like that to be centered underneath the wall oh those are cute what if we use like some of this it's just so gray I'm thinking about having some of this over there as well this is so gray though i'm thinking try like a light brown we got some new swatches on that which is nice what if we do something like that and then we can use like a nice like yellow bin maybe something like that I think having something like yellow would be nice to brighten up the space some, but that shade of yellow just doesn't match like I want it to. I mean, that could work. Then we size it down one. Hmm. It's just like a little too dull for my liking. Oh, I do love that. And these size down pretty well. I'm not mad about that. I do want to put maybe a little piece of like a picture or some type of like knickknack clutter decor. So let's look. Yeah, like a little tea thing. I like that fruit bowl that came with Love Struck. So I'm gonna go over to Love Struck and I think that fruit bowl is really cute. Any other little clutter that we can perhaps add? Maybe just some toilet paper? Not toilet paper, <laughs> um, paper towels. My brain got there eventually. I think that's too much. What if we just do these? Yeah, I like that. It wakes it up just a little, but now I'm thinking, I'm like, okay, but what other colors does this come in? Because, eh, that's just not cute. Okay, I might need to sit on this room for a second and we'll come back. Let's go ahead and furnish this little bathroom because that is gonna be easy. It looks like I have some stuff in my inventory. I'm gonna get rid of all that. Let's make some money's back. Let's just do just the necessities. We got a little toilet, I gotta give my sims some little toilet paper, and they of course need hand soap, and they need a little hand towel, because we're not barbarians. We might be low on cash, but we're not barbarians. Is this coming in the other colors? Ooh, it does, let's do that yellow. Downstairs bathroom, it's all good to go. That mat's fine. Okay, I'm glad I kept the boom box because they do like music, at least one of them does. Mike does, Mikey. Um, let me see if there's any mission decor type of couches i'm feeling like there's don't like it mm -mm. i want something like comfy and cozy i'm always thinking that one actually kind of cute okay hold on what if we lay it out we have like a couch right there we we'll put the bookshelves over on this wall because then we can put like a piece of decor we can keep this maybe just stick it over there that's from nifty knitting okay so we have a long enough for them to entertain. And then of course we can do, ooh, that blue color, but the walls are blue. I think I wanna keep that yellow just to make it a little bit more brighter. And then we can do maybe this color. And that doesn't really matter, yeah, maybe that. Is, does the bookcase come in different colors? Cause maybe we can match those woods together. Yeah, that's not perfect, but it does the job. It's cute enough. And I do wanna use a biggish rug. I was thinking one of these from Growing Together because they're fairly cheap as well. We have 9,000, so I'm trying to keep keep watch of how much money we have. But I think I like this. I like that. Mm. They look like they would like something like this. So let's keep that. And we do need some type of big plant. We could use some of these. That's not bad. And then maybe like another little plant over on this section. Maybe I do search my mission. We have this one. Eh, it's not my favorite. Let's try to make it work. Here we go. It works. I'm gonna get rid of those two. Because I think with having that money back from those two things, we can maybe get like a little 400. 820. Oh no. The boom box is probably the best bet. Oh yeah. Boom box was the best bet. Let's just sit that right, right there. Okay. That's not bad. It's definitely not like my style, but it's not bad. I think we can do it with like having even a TV on the wall. How much is this? 4,000, 3,000. What if we use one of these from Tiny Living? Oh, those, it does not match. <laughs> oh, how much is this one? 2,000. 
Jeez. But luckily it's the Sims. Like a size and a probate. And that's too big though. Maybe we just do something like that. And put the little coffee table right underneath. Oh, well, the coffee table kind of looked nice. Let's just keep the blue box. I'm gonna size it down because it is humongous. And I do want to see about getting a basket of dreams. I know that that's no, I can't. I can't. I gotta go upstairs because look, we only have six thousand. I'm getting rid of this wardrobe for sure. Okay. I think we determined that this was gonna be Ulrich's room. So she likes, oh my gosh, she likes cross stitching. Gosh, she's gonna take all of our money. Okay, she likes cross stitching, knitting, and painting. We have a painting thing downstairs. Y'all, for a second, I was like, my money's only seven, seven, seven fifty. I got nervous. And Ulrich likes the color gray and blue. So I'm gonna go back gray and blue to see if we can find a cute bed. I know she likes mission, but you know what? We're not doing that anymore. Ooh, that, that fix her like eclectic vibe that she has going on too. So let's do that. I'm gonna sit on this. Where was that from? Is this from Growing Together? Um, High school years, I think? Let's go by high school years. Which I also need to play in that world too because they have such cute stuff. Show me Earth, I think. Let's see, let's see. Maybe we can get one little nightstand. Nice Ooh, it comes in a nice little color. Can I? I can sit that on top. And then we'll put our little cross stitch over on this side. And we can keep this painting. We'll just stick it right there. There were some nice wardrobes, but I think because I kind of want to cheap out now, I want to use one that's $350. How much is that base game one? $439. You know what? I was going to cheap out, but honestly, this is looking like it's going to be the better fit. I'm going to move her door over. So, what if they move her bed over a little bit? 400, 140, even better. Put in this little corner. I do want to get some blinds, because I think they'll be nice. Look at these little ones. Like, they do it for me, but not really. I want something big. And these are my favorites. So, I might just go ahead and use those, because they're only 35 as well. They're a bargain. They just place however they want to. No, 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 don't bulldoze the house, please. Stop, get away, get away. Yeah, I like those. Okay, so since, it's gonna be a little, or honestly, is it cutting right in the middle? We don't need a window, so let's not use one. I do like the way this is situated a little bit more. Okay, cute. So she has a lot of gold accents like in her furniture. So I'm thinking, what if I search for like orange and yellow? Maybe they'll pick up like some gold. Nothing crazy like this. Honestly, that kind of works. Oh, does this work though? Kind of. Oh, I think I like this one. That's so pretty. And we do need a picture, and I'm thinking of going to Love Struck because they have some really cute pictures. I like it a lot. And we can use the little rug from Love Struck too. It's nice and plush. I think I'm enjoying that white. So let's do that. And then last but not least, because money is running low, 400. It's gonna be Eco Lifestyle. <laughs> Eco Lifestyle has cheap plants. 100. See, look at that. I don't think she would have something like that for this. Maybe put the mirror like right there. And the plant right there. And the door over some. Because that works. And then she has the things that she likes as well, which ticks off what we need for her room. Alrighty, so moving into Mikey's room. Mikey enjoys garden and mission decor styles, writing, mischief, and guitar. So we do have a computer. I'm just gonna go ahead and stick this in my inventory, but I am gonna delete those two things. Let's delete this as well. And I kinda like how pretty this is, but maybe we can find something. She likes black and blue. So let's go ahead and grab her a nice chair for her to do her writing in. I know that's not the best computer, but we're gonna work with what we have for right now and see what we have left. But maybe as well, we can use some of these pictures that she already had and just place those, because that works. Okay, bed-wise, bed-wise. She likes garden now <laughs> in modern. Uh, no, garden and mission, because they both share the love of mission. So I'm thinking if she likes garden, wouldn't garden be like super floral and very bright and airy? So maybe we do stuff like that, which makes me think I need to add some more garden bits outside, but we'll come to that when we do. There's not much in here that we can use. We can use this blooming brooms. I think I'm gonna find a green and maybe blue bed. That's so pretty. High school years? 
I like this one. Horse Ranch never fails me. Let's do that. And I might move this dresser over, over to this side. We're still doing pretty good with money. So maybe we delete that. And that's from Horse Ranch. So what if I go to Horse Ranch and see if there's something that matches? Let's use this rug. She does like a tar. We'll put one of those. Oh gosh. I thought that there was like a dresser. I could honestly be overlooking it so i'm gonna go yeah i was overlooking it 550 425 let's do this one do it on a little angle oh that green is gorgeous mm -hmm. oh yeah we're gonna have to use some of this she does like black and blue what if we do one of those and see that kind of matches a little bit better what if i move the bed over just to give her a little bit more like leg room and space i'm gonna have it on this wall because like if she works from home she can have like a clear background. I always like to think of like my Sims working from home because I like work from home two days a week. So I wanna be cautious just in case they also wanna work from home a day. Gotta have a nice like setup and background. Um, garden mischief and writing. So I think because of that, let's go to clutter. And there is like a little book. We need this drink tray. Doo -doo -doo -doo. I want to get like a little open book. And there is one, here it goes. I think that room is pretty much done. I do want to get like a little landing. Is there anything, oh, is there anything for mission that could work or a little rug? There is. Oh, that's kind of cute. I feel like we should use this one though. Like a little landing area rug. That's clipping just a hair. Let's pull that up. Oh, those come in ugly colors, but I'm going to use it. Let's add another little light right there. Let's actually do two of these. Cute. Okay. Now I'm going to go back garden. I'm not playing favorites or anything like that, but it looks like some things from garden could like work kind of well. We use this. Any pictures with garden? Ooh, that was a lot of money. Okay. But I like the way that that looks. I feel like that's enough personality for Mikey and enough personality for Yulrick. So let's go into this bathroom. I like this setup. I don't think that I'm going to change that. The only thing that I am going to add is my cabinet of dreams. Where are you, honey? I haven't seen you in a while. There you go. Oh, looking so beautiful as ever. Oh, I like that blue. And let's do that. We do need a shower. Might need one of those. I'm going to get rid of... Well, I might keep this sink. Let me put it out there for right now. I do want to get some type of like little shower. We are kind of limited on space. We could do one of these. And in Snowy Escape, there is like this little barrier thing it might be in surfaces but let me see about it because you can use this like a little shower wall so let's see if that could work i don't know how well our sims are gonna like that but it is okay let's get a nice little mirror let's put like little robes oh that would be drenched let's put one right there and then maybe one right there and let's put some little soaps and this is from snowy escape as well i like that should we put curtains I mean, we could we could give them some curtains i love these so i'm gonna use those again full bathroom bedroom bedroom we need something else like in this little area what is something that they can possibly maybe do together for fun a little gaming cards table what if we do one of those i never use those maybe they can come up here and play Oh, that didn't fit their vibe. <laughs> I was gonna, I was gonna add that stuff because I was like, oh, that's cute because it's like a little card section. But no, it's not fitting the vibe. I bet high school years has some like little um, Polaroids. No, I don't like that. Might just leave it blank, which is fine. I am happy with the way that the house turned out, and I feel like they have enough money as well for them to sustain themselves. I am gonna add one more of these little runners. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm gonna get rid of this. And then to top off the house, cause I think I'm about done with it, a little thermostat. Okay, so I did change the flooring to match this a little bit better. Um, I do think I might wanna trail this back, like around this way too, cause that kinda works. And I'm still using up all their money, even though I keep saying I'm not. You just wanna add like one more little plant. Ooh, or we could use a hanging plant. Hmm, cause these from Paranormal are pretty nice. 
Okay, there we have it. I'm not going to spend any more of their money. But I'm really happy with the way that the house turned out. I think it still fits, like, their personalities and everything. And you still have room to, like, get into their careers and, like, spruce it up some more with some landscaping and stuff. But speaking of landscaping, we forgot to do terrain paint. Foolish of me. I'm just going to go in. I just kind of use this. Oh, but I think it turned out so cute. Oh, I'm obsessed with it. But I hope you enjoyed today's video, friends. If you did, make sure it's fun things. Like, give it a big old like and subscribe down below if you haven't already. As well as press that bell notification so you're notified each and every time that I post. Because I've challenged myself in the month of October to actually post almost every other day. But I am posting daily over on my lifestyle channel. So it's short dealing with corporate, fashion, beauty, travel, um, advice, just a whole bunch of things that I really enjoy so definitely make sure you check that out I'll have that linked in my description box down below but until next time friends I hope you are doing swell and I will see you very soon bye